Tonight, while the Biden administration complains about the lack of inclusion in the, new, in the Taliban's new government, we're getting a picture of what life will be like under the Taliban rule, where Sharia law rules supreme. Now Afghan women will soon be banned from playing sports, holding most jobs. Their travel will also be restricted. Most music is also going to be banned. Comedy is banned. And all women will be forced to adhere to a strict dress code and moral code. The punishment for breaking any of these barbaric rules is death. Here with more, the host of Fox Nation, Lara Logan, along with the Medal of Honor recipient, Fox News contributor Dakota uh, Meyer is with us. Dakota, I want to ask you, my understanding is that our intelligence was able to track the terrorist attack that killed 13 Americans and, and injured 200 more and, and killed, you know, over 100 more. And they had, they ran up the chain. They tracked them. They knew what was happening. The intel was exactly right. And that they had the ability to take this guy out. Now, Jennifer Griffin says the Pentagon denies this report. And they didn't take out the suicide bomber. You've been looking into it. I heard you this morning talking about it. What's the latest on it? Is the Department of Defense telling yeah, us so the truth, or are they lying? Yeah, I mean, look, Sean, I mean, are we going to trust the Department of Defense? Are we going to actually trust the people who are part of the Biden administration that continue to lie to us? Uh, no, I mean, look, I, we are talking to the people on the ground. We have confirmed with three different sources that were involved in this, that sent it up. They had intel reporting that there was going to be an attack. Uh, they found this person. They actually had drone lock on this person. They sent it up and requested to take the shot. And the response was back, no, for the reason being that they were negotiating with the Taliban, in negotiations with the Taliban. Now, this is coming directly from sources who were on the ground, the sources who were actually uh, involved in this incident. Uh, so, I mean, of course, uh, do you expect the government to uh, to go ahead and take accountability? Because that's what it would uh, would happen if uh, if they actually admitted to this. All right. Let me go to you, Lara Logan. We know what life was like for women under the Taliban before. We see these reports. We know what they're saying that they're going to do. I guess the, the obvious question is, why would anyone expect anything different? And the idea that Tony Blinken is so out of touch with who the Taliban really is, and they force young girls into sex slavery and marriage and subjugate women in ways where they can't go to school or work, and the fact that they don't knew, know that, and the fact that he's saying, well, we're concerned about the lack of inclusivity uh, with the new government of the Taliban, how dumb are these people not to know the Taliban for who they are? It's not stupidity, Sean. They know exactly who the Taliban are. They're counting on the fact that American people don't know who the Taliban are to sell you a pack of lies. And this didn't start with Tony Blinken. This started with the Obama administration. You can go all the way back to right after Obama was elected. This was the message from the very, very beginning, that there's good Taliban and bad Taliban. They packed the administration with Taliban apologists, and they have just ignored all the evidence. The Taliban has had control over limited parts of Afghanistan, and their rule in those areas for the last few years has been identical to what you're seeing now. So it's not just a question of they didn't know. They had all the evidence. I've received today footage of young women at protests, which I think are in Kabul. I'm going to be releasing that when I have been able to vet it and know for sure. But there's gunfire breaks out. These women are screaming and terrified. I have another photograph from Reuters of a Taliban uh, fighter pointing a, an M16 American-made rifle probably courtesy of the U.S. military, at a woman, and then another picture of her body. And I'm trying to vet and confirm that. But there's women protesting all over Afghanistan now who are being shot at. There's, uh, there's been a number of policewomen uh, executed, as you mentioned. And oh, the Biden administration has all of the evidence that they need. They had it before. And what they're doing is just lying to you. And you know, Sean, you remember Schindler's List, right? We all know what Schindler's sure. List is. Well, I just, uh, you know, you talked about the special operations vets and the Biden State Department and the Justice Department and the agency are working overtime to threaten and intimidate all of those vets. They're using every lever of their power to shut down those rescue operations, to drag them out. And they're now encouraging people to go to Kabul. That's the message that's going out on these networks. And I'm on a lot of these ops rooms. I am one of the people that is trying to help rescue Afghans. And I'm 
telling everybody that before they slap some phony kind of charges on everybody and try and imprison people for trying to rescue people the same way that they've got people in prison for going to the Capitol on January 6th, right? And I want to tell you what they've actually been doing. They have ceded control to the Taliban and they have sent out to their active duty uh, forces to let them know that all of those manifests will be vetted by Siraj Haqqani. This man has a $5 million bounty on his head. He's one of the most wanted terrorists in the world. That's by the U.S., right? The U.S. designated him a terrorist. There are Americans who died and have been wounded going after Siraj Haqqani and the Haqqani network. There are tens of thousands of Afghans who have been killed by Siraj Haqqani. And now he's in charge of security. He's the man that they went to before the U.S. Uh, you know, forces were bombed at that airport. He's the guy that they turned to for help, a known terrorist. This is who the American people are being told is going to be our counterterrorism partner. This is the cabinet that where Tony Blinken says there's some people there with, you know, questionable kind of issues, right, in their past. Excuse me? You're a designated terrorist by the United States government. And this administration has been breaking the law over and over again. They're now going to take humanitarian aid, which is your tax dollars, the tax dollars of soldiers, families who died on that battlefield, and the families of 9-11, and they're going to try to pass it to the Taliban. You know why, Sean? Because we were sending a pallet of cash every week to the yeah. Afghan government, and the Taliban can't function without it. They want that money, right? And the yeah. Biden administration wants to give it to them, but they're looking for a way to get it there. And they've got a little problem here, because they were going to make recognition of the Taliban government. They were going to make that conditional based on their actions, right? But look at their actions. They're going house to house executing people, right? There's a genocide or potential genocide in the making it's in the Panjshir Valley. The people we were fighting with a few weeks ago, our allies are being slaughtered by the Pakistanis and the U.S. is doing nothing. Someone in Congress needs to ask, what are we doing about Pakistan? Why are we not sanctioning and stopping Pakistan? Do we believe in governing by fear and terror, or do we believe in democracy and freedom? Great report. Thank you, Laura Logan. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.